Made it home from Arkansas yesterday. Attended the Mina Ham Fest. First time to do that. We had a slight scare on Friday night because there was supposed to be some high winds and storms come through and they did come through the area, but they ended up being all south of us. So I got to uh, set up the rooftop tent and it got rained on. So I actually need to open that back up now that I think about it. I need to open it up and let it air out some. But today we're going to talk about mobile HF. Using HF on the road in your mobile vehicle. I did mobile HF all the way back home yesterday. Recorded myself, got some samples, and I got some samples from a couple other times as well just throughout this series. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that today and see how fun mobile HF can be while on the road. Before we get to that, I'm gonna show you my acquisitions from the Hamfest yesterday. I picked up one of these. Now I've got one of these. This is a VX3 Yezu radio. It's a little, very slim, very small Yezu radio. I've got one of these, the battery was dead. I got a new battery for it, which seemed to work fine, but I didn't have a charger for it. So I saw this on the table. The guy was selling one, this radio with three batteries. So the battery that's in it plus two extras and a charger. And it was like 65 bucks. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna grab that. So I've got this connected to my All-Star right now. KC5 HWB test. There we go. So now I can carry this around. These things are cool. These older Yezu radios are pretty sweet. So I picked that up yesterday on the swap market table. And this was brand new. This is a 160 meter antenna by Cable. I'll, put, I'll find the link to this and put this in the description below. Cablehelp.com, something like that. This, what you do is you hang this from a pole, a mast. He says put it 50 feet in the air if you can. He goes, anything over 30 is fine, but if you can get it up to 50, it'd be better. This is the 160 meter version. And then you run this down as a sloper down to the ground. It's about 65, 66 feet, he said. So it's about the same length as a 40 meter in-fed half wave, but this will do 160 meters. So I'm very much looking forward to trying some FT8 on 160 meters. Been wanting to do that for a while. So that might be a, an excellent option for that. But for today's video, like I said, we're going to do some mobile HF, but, but first I'm going to do a walk around through my truck. Now, some of you guys said that I should do a video about my truck install. Well, guess what? I did that two years ago and I will link that video somewhere in here, probably up, uh, no, up here somewhere. It'll link up here somewhere. I'll link it in the description below as well. Pretty much everything is the same, but I have changed a few things. So uh, let's take a look through the truck and I'm gonna show you what I have installed, where it's installed, what I'm running, what my plans are, and then we're gonna do some mobile HF for 30 days of ham radio. I've got, this is a temporary setup. This is a mesh-tastic node that I've got running to an external antenna. I wanna replace this with the Spec 5, um, I think it's called a Voyager. It's the one with the magnet on it that sticks to the outside of the car. It has an antenna connected directly to it. I did a short video about that a while back. I wanna connect that to, I wanna take the magnets off and put some T-channel uh, track bolts on it and connect it to that roof rack up there. But I haven't got one of those yet. These are my radios as installed behind the back seat in my car. This is the TS-480HX, obviously, Kenwood. That's my FTM 500. That's the ID5100, and that's my Waxon KG1000G GMRS radio. For some reason, that lost power. I can't figure out if, uh, if the power's bad or the radio's bad. or the, the It's not the rig runner. I already checked that. But i got to figure out something about the GMRS radio, which I'm without right now. And i, I got to figure it out this week, and I'll let you guys in on that a little bit later. But probably going to replace the ID5100 with the new Kenwood D750 that comes out later this year, hopefully later this year. And uh, that'll give me 220 in here. And then I don't have a DMR radio in here right now. I might put a DMR radio right there. We'll see. And then I'm probably going to replace this radio with the FTX1 as soon as the separation cables come out from Yezu. I know that ABR is also working on a pair of separation cables for the FTX1 with the Optima amplifier. And I might, uh, I might end up using their stuff, but uh, one way or the other, that FTX1 amplifier is going to get mounted back here, and then the head of the radio will get mounted up front. I got this, the bar that goes across there is just a clothes hanging bar. And I put that up a while back, and then I've got some Lido mounts, the plates right here, and I'm going to mount my speakers. The speakers just hang in here right now. But I want to mount a speaker for all the radios on this mount and face them forward so it's a little bit easier to hear 
but that's going to be my speaker system that I eventually will get to. And then these here are my radios. Let's turn everything on just so you can see what it looks like here. Phone mount here from Bullet Point Mounts. Really great uh, mounting solution for phones and tablets. This is a wireless charger, so you set the phone in here and this closes down on it, charges your phone. Bullet Point Mounts is the one, it's an amps mount on the back of this R-Finder tablet. I get asked about this tablet a lot. People say, what case do you have that in? This is not a case, this is the way it's built. This is the R-Finder uh, P10 tablet. It is ruggedized. It is, it's got a two-way radio built into it with an RTL SDR built into it for receive. This is the older version. This is the Android 9 version. They do have an Android 13 version out. I don't have that one yet. Probably get that eventually. So I run, monitor the Allmon system on my All-Star dashboard here when I'm driving and I'll have mapping software on it, either GPS or I'm sorry, either a Google Maps or a Gaia GPS is my latest one. And then we go over here. This is, of course, my ID5100. And this is pretty much my main radio right here. The ID5100 is where I do most of the work from the truck. Two meters, 70 centimeters. This is the one I, I monitor my All-Star with. Uh, this is the Ulus Repeater 442.900. That's the one that uh, I use locally when I'm at home. Of course, this is the TS480HX. Somebody right there. Whiskey 6 Hotel. Oh, that's the Route 66 uh, special event station, one of their special event stations. This is my, my, the FTM 500. Now, I do have the 510. I'm going to replace it and probably sell the 500 because I have the 510 inside. I just haven't made the switch yet. And a lot of you guys are still texting me from the APRS video that I made the other day. I really appreciate all of the APRS messages that I've got. Keep them coming. Send me an APRS message to KC5HWB-9. This is the Dash 9 radio, and the Dash 7 HT is on my belt. But those are the three radios. And then the Waxon's down here. I've got it down here at the bottom because it's, like I said, it's not working right now. So it's just down here. It's still mounted in here, but uh, it's not, it won't power on for, for whatever reason. I've got a Ocatel, I think it is, 500 watt hour battery bank that I run everything in here, including my new Wolf Box backup camera not really a backup camera it it can be used as a backup camera but it's much more than that it's a front facing dash cam and it has a second camera in it for a rear facing cam so i can so right now i just pretty much keep it looking behind me and uh you can switch back and forth between it right there that's the front that's that it dual display front and back front only back only so just recently picked that up, been really happy with that so far. It does do recording. Some of the footage you guys have seen on the video series has actually been recorded from that camera. Some of the stuff that looks like it's coming out the front of the truck is actually coming from that camera. That is the mobile setup in the truck. I've got an offline mapping system from an old Garmin unit that I'm looking at doing. Although Jason came for ACK, he told me about this offline map that he uses just on Android. So I did download that. They're called, um, what are they called? Uh, organic maps, organic maps on Android. You can install the app and then you can tell it to download the map. You can download areas and download the whole state, something like that. And it, when you get an internet connection, it will tell you when there's an update. So organic maps is a really good map to use if you want to use offline maps. And I've, I've used it a little bit. I do run Meshtastic on the tablet as well. Um, I want to get a better Meshtastic node for up top. And I have a mount for the roof rack for my Starlink mini dish. And as soon as I actually get around to, to installing that, I tried to install it one time and I had some trouble with one of the mounting screws. It wouldn't, um, I can't remember right now, it wouldn't, wouldn't line up correctly or something. So I emailed the company and they sent me some new screws and it does seem to work now. But, uh, but I want to mount that up there, and then I run, want to run my All-Star. My All-Star node is behind the seat there. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Okay, this is it. It had fallen down behind the seat. This is the Hotspot Radio USB All-Star node. It, I typically will leave it just sitting here. It's not a permitted install yet. It's, it's running off of USB off of that battery bank, that uh, Ocatel battery bank that I showed you between in front of the console right there. But eventually I want to get a buck connector for it and let it run off of the rig runner. But that's the all-star system that I'm running in the truck right now. And I want to run that for a while on the Starlink and see how much bandwidth and how much data it actually uses in a month's given time. Because my Starlink account right now is on the 50 gigabyte plan. 
And I want to know if I run All Star and my mapping software, a few other things in the truck here, such as the tablet and whatnot, and when I'm on a road trip, I want to know how long that 50 gigabytes will last me. I chewed up the 50 gigabytes on the trip from Galveston to Arkansas by uploading videos for this series. So I gotta, if I can refrain from doing that, I think it'll run everything else uh, that I have just fine. 50 gigabytes a month should be plenty, but that'll be a neat test for another day in another video. So that's the current setup. I do have a few upgrades I'm wanting to make. I'm wanting to get some new wiring to the battery box in the back. I've got a whole video about the battery box in the back. I wanna wire up the, um, the Ocatel power bank there to the battery box in the back so that everything runs from the secondary battery because right now I just plug that in at night and let it charge up from the house, but I want it to be a little bit independent of that. And then uh, I've got a couple other things I'm gonna add, including a scanner and whatnot and stuff like that. So more to come on that later. Thank you for the comments about the truck. Let's do some uh, mobile HF on the road. Little Jason's trying to work Sierra 5.1 Delta X-Ray, Yanez in Slovenia. You pushing all 200 watts? About 150. 150. <laughs> Hello, Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo Mobile. Nope. Swing and a miss. Thank you very much. Mobile's in Alabama. Yes. We're mobile. Yes. It's easier to understand mobile. Is that right? I never have a problem. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jason. And I'll talk funny. I like to say things like own. Like I'm on do APRS from my mobile. <laughs> it works for both Jasons. He cannot hear you. You need to give it all 200 watts. Still pretty cool we're hearing Slovenia while driving down the freeway. Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel Whiskey Bravo Mogul. Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel Whiskey Bravo. Roger, Roger, copy the 5 8. We are mobile in Missouri right now. Mobile in Missouri. You're about a 5 8 out here as well. 5 8 here too. Thank you for the DX 73. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo Mobile. Okay, copy Colorado, you're about a 5 5 in Oklahoma. Seventy three, good luck. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo Mobile. It's uh, Hotel Whiskey Bravo, Honolulu, Washington, Bravo. Roger, Roger, copy 5-7 in Utah. Thank you for the park. Uh, you're about a 5-5 to 5-7 with the band being up and down in Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma. Seventy-three. Thanks for the contact. When you're moving, when you're mobile, and you're moving, you know he might be really loud one minute and then really quiet the next minute, and it could be the band just doing what's called QSB, QS Bravo, which is fading. QSB is fading. So like when the signal is strong, you hear it real good, and then it just kind of fades on its own. That happens a lot anyway. But when you're moving, you got even more parameters that can affect the signal. So sometimes it's challenging, but uh, I found it to be fun more often than not. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo Mobile. Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo. You are a 5-5 in Arizona, name is Mike Glenn. Okay, Mike, you're about a 5758 in Oklahoma in the mobile station. Uh, the name is Jason, Juliet Alpha Sierra Oscar November. QSL, QSL, what special event is this? Route 66 
Roger, Roger, I was I was thinking that's what you were doing. Just wanted to confirm. 73, and thank you for picking me up. Nice. I'm going to try to work that event next week. Kilo Charlie 5, Honolulu, Washington, Bravo, mobile. Roger, Roger, Roger. Yeah, you're about a 5x7 in Alabama. 5x7 in Alabama. Roger, Roger. 7-3. Thanks for the DX. I didn't receive an update of donation numbers from the ARRL today. It is a weekend day. And they took the day off. We'll catch up with them tomorrow. Thanks for watching the series, guys. Please remember that I'm donating a dime for every new subscriber I get. And for every video that reaches 10,000 views, we'll donate $100 per video. 73, see you tomorrow.